Hi, my name is Jairam Ishwaran. I have been a golfer for the last 20 years and golf, as you know, has given me a lot of pleasure. But yes, it's given me its share of pain. A few years ago, I had acute pain in my left knee and I was very worried that my golfing days are over till someone met me and told me about Vardhan. So then I came over to Vardhan and I met Tanu. Hi. So, how is your knee pain now? Oh, Tanu, that's completely gone and uh, I'm really delighted. But uh, what confuses me is uh, for treating my knee, you actually treated my thigh. Yes. See, prior to coming here, wherever I went, they applied gadgets and machines on my knee. And of course, it didn't provide too much relief. That's why I came here. But I'm still baffled that, you know, for a knee pain, you went and treated my thigh. What was that all about? Yeah, so I'm glad you asked this question. Why I worked on your uh, thigh and hip area is because when I assessed you, you were standing with your pelvis slightly forward. Like you, you stood with your hips forward. And that just tightens up your knee muscle. And that quadriceps muscle, it attaches on your kneecap. And that's where you were getting the pain. So if I had just worked on your kneecap and the quadriceps remained tight, the pain would come back again. So I had to treat the source of your pain, which was your hip joint. Correct that mechanics so that it eases out pressure on your kneecap. But uh, I think that's quite clear to me. But tell me one thing. Does Vardhan uh, never use any machines? No, no, no. We don't use any machines. Why? Because uh, machines, definitely they help. I'm not saying machines don't help. They help only in the initial stage, like maybe first four or five days to reduce some pain. But they, the machines are put on the area where you have pain. So again, it doesn't treat the source of your problem. All it's right. just like having a painkiller or just using an ice pack on the baby. It's like that. Good. So if your knee is doing well, then what brings you here today? Yeah, same, coughing. I developed some pain in the shoulder. You know, when I'm taking a swing, uh, when I'm finishing my swing, uh, I get a pain here because of which I can't finish the swing completely and then the ball goes all over. Mm -hmm. So I've come here not only for treatment but also to help you improve my golf handicap. Yes, yes, we do that. But for that, first I'll have to again assess you completely because I understand you're having pain at the shoulder joint, but it may not be coming from your, uh, like, exactly the shoulder joint. Uh, it may be because of the way you are reading a book, using your phone, how you are using your golf club, lifting your uh, briefcase, because all those areas can affect your upper back and neck and ribcage area. So, and that forms the base of support for your shoulder. Well, um, I, I remember every time I've come to you, you, you know, told me improve my posture. Mm. And uh, I never believed that posture, but then um, does it mean that non-golfers also with bad posture do have pain? Yes, of course. So, a lot of people have uh, these musculoskeletal issues and most of the times the reason is a faulty posture. In your daily activities, if your posture is not correct, you are straining the wrong muscles and hence you end up with pain. Well, that's very sad because no one taught us about postures even in school. Yeah, I think in fact it should, we should start yeah. learning these things right in school. I'm glad I came here. So, tell me when do we start? Can start right now. Yeah. Yeah. You have your. Uh, yes. My box set is here with me in the car. So I'll see how you're. Uh, Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. I wanted to show you a swing action a couple of times. Okay. Okay. Now just relax your body. Relax your body. Relax your body. Yeah. So, and there's one more thing that I want to point out. Can you go back into position once again? 
and stop the inner passing. Just stop here. So since you already had an issue, and as you know, by the way, your knee joint needs to find the ball, but it creates a lot of torsion on your knee joint because there is a rotation happening on your thigh. Right. So to avoid the strain coming on the inner side of the knee, I want you to, when you're coming to down swing, shift the weight completely, and as you're shifting the weight, feel that you're also engaging your stomach muscles to do that. Okay, so it's not just your arm that is leading the movement; it's the weight shift from your feet and your core engagement. Try it a few times. Right, feels much better. Yeah. So now that you checked my swing, uh, you identified right where the yes. problem is. So just want to know which part of my body are you going to yeah, start so working on now? So while swinging, you are keeping your shoulders quite shrugged up. Mm -hmm. That's affecting the, this muscle. It okay. starts at your neck. Oh, so I'm going right. to start at your neck and upper back, right. and then we we'll come to the shoulder. Shoulder. Oh, okay. Right. So I'm going to mobilize, release the soft tissue joints. And then I'll teach you how to keep your shoulder in position while you're doing this. Great. So let's get started. Yes.